Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. We're going to restart the video. Uh, we did a couple of really bad attempts on this particular fight. Uh, we're going to get some communal resist fire. And some communal resist electricity. We're going to save. We will win this war. And then we need to move a tiny bit so we can see this guy and then boom. Do not start the fight. Do not waver. Our goal is to bring him to us, which he will. He'll come. We have our own Will of the Wisp up and running. It's not like it's a big deal. We'll grab Bless. And we'll grab Evil Eye on that guy. And that's it for now. Protective Luck here. That's it for now. And Haste on. Haste on everyone. This thing hits like a freight train. Uh, we're going to delay our action. Well, the Will of the Wisp is taking a horrible beating. Where's the Evoker? It's right there. We could go in and hit the Evoker, which will hit the Minotaur. I'll just have to resort to brute force. How did she get icy prisoned? Of course she got icy. I don't even know how. Okay, that was not a great start for that. Um, kind of to kill the Minotaur or the uh, Evoker. Fire Snake does hurt, and we are gonna take a bunch of damage. Let's. There's no point in five sipping away, is there? He. Wait, Seal is back up? Oh. We don't have a last stand up, I don't think, so... We kind of need to kill him before he kills us, but he's definitely going to kill us, like, right now. We got really, really lucky there. Um... Our real only chance of keeping our main character alive is to Phantasmal kill this thing. Which did work! Okay, cool. There we go. Alright, problem solved. That was a lot closer than I would have liked. But we did successfully win the fight. We need to group up and cast some healing spells. not ending just yet. You stop going back to level zero spells, thank you. Don't know why it's doing that now. Very irritating. I think there's one more enemy at the end of this hall, or at least a couple more enemies at the end of this hall. Knowledge is the key. I'll need to review this spell. We did hit it, so it does appear like we'll have a surprise round. Missed our next follow-up attack though. Out of my sight! Hit that one. Um the light take you. Let's just move that up. Can't do anything about that. No fear. No. I don't know what else there is for enemies around here. Greater invisibility is not gonna help them too much. Hit him once. Camille took some hits. That's fine. No risk. Oh, there's another sniper. Shit. Fighting. At least she's not That's dead, I guess. I'll just have to to brute force. The blood. Um, let's try to finish him off. So close to death. Not quite there, though. Alright. Sometimes they're just very annoying at the end of combat. Is there anything in this last little zone here? No. Okay, good. We got everyone. 
Now it's time to save Arushale, which means... I need the voice of the do you have any gear on that I need? Ugh, I'd have plus one. Gross. I'll take the Wicked Longbow from you, too. I'm just going to steal all of her potions as well. And her scrolls, for that matter. Alright, saving. We're getting Arushale in our group. You are a crusader, right? Did you come to free Dresden? My name is Arushale. Ruby eyes watch you cautiously from behind the iron bars. A woman with, del with a delicate face, horns on her forehead, and broad wings behind her back is trying to unlock the door with her long nails. Noticing you, she stops and raises her head, her hand timidly in a greeting. You recognize her voice. It's the woman who came to you in the vision in Desna's desecrated chapel. The woman who tried to warn Canaveris of the impending demon attack. I'm going to open the cell. You are free. Fly away. Fly free, you beautiful, scary butterfly. <laughs> Ember laughs joyfully. Thank you. I will not ask you for anything else, and I will offer nothing in return. You'd only think I was trying to hurt you. I will leave, and you will never see me again. We've talked before. You came to me in a vision. Right here in this cell. You look different, but I recognize your voice. Arushale studies our face. Now I see. It was you, but in another form. That night you came to my prison, you looked like a beautiful, radiant Azata. Who are you? Your eyes do not deceive you. I am a demon. But I swear, I fight the forces of the Abyss just like you. Desna helped me understand how disgusting the life of a succubus is. For the last few years, I've been passing the demon's plans to the Crusaders and running sabotage operations. I even tried to warn Canarbris of the attack. That's what got me locked in this cage. A demoness who worships Desna. It sounds incredible, but you see a little blue butterfly hovering around the tip of her horn. The goddess herself seems to be vouching for the truth of the prisoner's words. A demon on the path to redemption? If she's not lying, this is a true miracle. Of course, it's hard to trust a demon, but goddess, I, I beg you, let this be true. An experiment on one's own nature. How interesting. My sincere respect, my honorable colleague. Do keep me informed about the results. Didn't you try and warn the people of Canabras about the attack? Yes, that was me. Ever since I went over to the Crusader's side, I've been sending them information about the demon's plans. Sadly, my warnings didn't help save Canabras. You thought I was a Nazada in the vision. Yes, first I heard a tune, a hymn to freedom within these oppressive walls. And then I saw you. You were glowing like the herald of Elysium. It was so amazing that I couldn't help but cry. Now I recognize your face. You look different, but still, you're the liberator who visited me when I was frightened and lonely. Sing the song of Elysium. Arushale joins in, and your voices sing in unison. You see something you've never seen on a demon's face before. Pure, radiant joy. Elysium. That song? That hymn of freedom? It's the only thing that helped me survive among the demons. My light in this dungeon. I see a spark of the light of Elysium in you. You are beautiful. Please don't run away. Come with me, or I'll have to search for you till the day I die just to see that beauty again. Yes. All right, I'll stay. The succubus looks at you stunned. In her eyes, you see a mixture of fear, hope, and something completely unnatural to demons. Something fragile and tender, making her remarkably similar to a mortal. Swapping those two out. Now we have Arushale. Arushale is pretty damn good, honestly. She... Yeah, I do have a build for her. I just gotta load it up now. I think we're gonna be putting her... She's just gonna be a ranger fighter. Um, it's the best way to do her build, I believe. Um, she's really, really good at killing things. 
Um, let's see. Where were we at with her? Right. Okay. So. Everyone's going to be taking this ability eventually. But we're going to take the last stand with her right away. So that uh, she doesn't die. She tends to get shot at a lot, weirdly. But, well, I guess not weirdly. She's very shootable, unfortunately. We're going to take Rapid Shot Mythic with her as well. And we're going to give her a better bow. She does have a composite longbow plus two. So actually, it's not that bad of a bow, to be completely honest. Uh, we're going to give her the belt of physical flow, I think. Which is, what, dex and strength? Sure. Actually, what are you using? Con. Yeah, we'll just give her the dex and strength one, I guess, for now. Plus 14 to hit. We're going to give her a different bow, though. We're going to give her the keen one, I think. That 19 to 20 crit rate might be good. She has plus 14 to hit, which isn't quite as good as Sila's plus 15. Even with power attack on. Oh, she's also got deadly aim on. That's why. We need deadly aim to actually do any damage with her for now. So, what else we got? That doesn't... Why am I putting that on her? That's pointless. Um, She doesn't do kinetic diadem stuff. We need a cloak resistance plus two. We need the sharp strike ring, even though it's not that useful. And we can give her... What? Not a lot of amulets in our group. She's also not really a bard. She's got leather armor plus two, which is fine. But we can actually give her better armor than that. The chainmail camaraderie. For now, anyways. Yeah, I guess that's what we're going to give her. Unfortunately, she doesn't quite have a good dex belt yet. But it'll be fine. She's got insane stats. Like, 21 charisma, 24 dex, 18 intelligence, 14 wisdom, 16... Intelligence, or sorry, 16 con, 15, well, technically only 13 strength, but still. There we go, we now have her with us. We're gonna free these demons and kill them for some experience, too. Let's have some fun! Can't do anything about that guy. Oh, we opened up the wrong one. An insane halfling prisoner. That was not the best choice, insane prisoner, to come melee my group with no weapons, but you do you, I guess. I don't really want to be in melee with her, though. Prepare yourself! Alright, insane prisoner's dead. Also had Shard of Night's Bracers. So, there you go. It's kind of useful to grab. We're also going to free this dredge. My dream. Not you. Not you. The light. Take Almost you. killed it. Daphna, guide my Dead hand. dredge. Anything else in here? There's a prisoner. You came too late. Let me uh, die in peace. Sorry, my dude. I wish I could help you. Alright. Everything's dead. That needs to be dead. We got the fire damage steel key. We need that key. Uh, it's one of... I want to say three keys we need. In this dungeon. Or in this city, I should say. Not the dungeon. And I think we just leave now. Let's go outside. The only downside... To Arushale. Is that when she takes too much damage, she runs away, and she can actually leave your group a little bit unprepared for more combat because she will stick around. She won't stick around. But with Last Stand, she will until Last Stand wears off. So, at least that's my understanding of that situation. I will defend my dream. 
Well, we just walked out into an ambush. There are several cultists. I'm gonna heal. Because Ember's a little hurt, and we're standing now in melee with everyone. What do we got? We got a cultist, a cultist, a slayer, archer. Well, the archer's dead. There's a conjurer. That's annoying. We need to kill that conjurer before he summons things. That was a decent shot at him. Another divine power attack. There's an archer somewhere that I don't know where. He didn't die. Where is that other archer? Okay, there's one there. Oh, they're both just standing beside each other. Okay, gotcha. I understand where they are now. Awful. That was truly terrible. Try that again. Ugh. Good. Well, and we're just 47 damage and went right down. Shield of Faith is on that one. Can I just charge these ones? We're not in range. Let's move a little bit. Ember's down. Darren can heal, but I'm not going to. Kill that one off. Oh, that was awesome. One of them just evaporated. Ooh, Sila took a big hit, though. Almost killed that one. Can we charge this one now? No, we still can't. You know what? I really can take on that one. Let's go finish this guy. Get everyone healed again. Arushalay is pretty good at murdering things. Let's do this, all of these things, kukris and daggers and all sorts of junk. There's a couple archers over there to loot and of course the conjurer almost, we almost got hit by fireballs. It'd be nice if the Hell Knights were doing their job and got rid of the giants. I mean we could have done that too, but I really wanted to get Arushalay faster. All right, let's, uh... I hear combat somewhere. Together we stand. They will break against we almost got hit, but... Oh, there's two guys just standing around here. Not sure why. The votaries. We missed the first one. I think Ember's gonna have to heal herself this turn. She's a little bit hurt. Actually, that was a really good heal, finally. Just shoot the Meryl's Votary or something. Mm, bone Shaker? Eight hole damage. Nice. Solid. Well, those guys are going to die pretty fast, so we should probably finish off these Votaries. Whoops. That was so stupid of me. I didn't realize there was a votary in melee with her. Wasn't a whole lot of damage, honestly. These crusaders are not going to make it through this fight, so let's uh, try and get rid of these guys faster. Almost killed that one. I'm gonna go help these guys. Since there's only two of them left now, we need to back you up so you don't get hit. Desna, guide my hand. Still not dead. Damn, he needs to just die already. I don't really want to take another hit from him, so let's back up and then just blast him. Or not, we'll miss all of our attacks, and then Sila will go down and die. Of course we will. <sighs> 
Let's try that one more time, but better. Less bad. Keep your wits about you. I will defend my dream. Well, that worked out much better this time. Okay. Let's, uh... What are we gonna do? Move you up to here, I guess, for now. You move to here. We almost got hit by... There's just fireballs flying everywhere. Okay. Shoot that guy. Sila, I need you to go help these guys as fast as possible. And that's all you can do this turn. I think the fireballs are falling faster than last time. You can't see the Babao's life. Now I can. They hadn't joined the fight yet, technically. That was a pretty solid hit. Alright, this is going much better this time. Do we just kill this guy? Nope, apparently we don't. Freebooter's Bane, let's get in there. Next turn we can attack. That guy died. I don't think we really need to heal at the moment. Maybe. I should have did a pretty good hit job hitting that one. Seal is under attack. She's pretty good at killing Bobalis too. Um, now let's just finish the one. Then we can deal with the other one. Another critical hit. Nice. That's going to get better as time goes on once we get the uh, better trickster ones and get improved, improved, improved critical hit. We'll get to like 15 ish times six, I think, in total? Is it what we can get up to? Um, right. Saving, of course, because you never know how this is going to go, usually very badly. That was a terrible charge. We were basically in a range before he even got close to doing a charge. Then again, we just killed it. Um, what's left to kill, though? I don't see any more enemies. Uh, there's a dre Oh, it appeared in melee. Where did you come from? I don't approve- Oh, there's another sheer- Oh shit, that's bad. Okay, let's move Ember a little bit further away so she doesn't get immediately pasted by a sheer charge. And there's another Dretch right there. Well, that Dretch is dead. Intervene with the sheer. Why would you do- that was suicide. Why would you charge my main character? Who's left alive now? There's still more things. I just saw something happen. More dretches are appearing somewhere. Oh, there it is. And another shear just appeared. And another shear just appeared. They're all near Ember, which is bad. This way, get out of the way. Oh, there's another another shear. Okay. Ember, you gotta move this way. And then just kinda maybe last one. Too late for a You're sickened, so you can't. There's so many dredges around here. Killed a couple. We did not cure, kill enough of them, though. Uh, Arushla needs to five foot step back. I will resist. Terrible. Darren, take a step back. Heal everyone. Just so no one immediately dies, hopefully. Okay, this is going all right so far. Uh, Ember needs to move. She's sickened, so she can't do anything. More stinking clouds are coming out. There's so many of them now, I can't see what's going on. Sila should be fine walking into the stinking cloud, though. 
I think we're down to one dredge and one shear now. I think Arushale is sickened though, so she can't do anything. Actually, I think half of our characters are sickened and can't do anything. One dredge remains. Still sickened on Arushale. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Oh, all the sinking clouds just wore off, and we killed the last dredge. Alright, so. Killed all the things. Including some babaos and all the random junk around. We're taking the babaos stuff and the. Apparently the, uh. Crusaders didn't have potions. Blasphemy. A triumphant column erected to honor the angels of heaven who fought and died during the Crusades. That's nice. We might hit level 9 before we clear out. Oh, there's a frock. There's a shears bottery up here. I know we're kind of running low on time, but I think we got one more fight in this. Well, one of them just immediately evaporated. I'm just gonna wait to see if anything spawns before we move people around too much. Death, guide my hand. There's also a Nabus used votary. Oh, I didn't die from our first attack. I see. Are we? We might be shaken. Well, that didn't work. Originally, I'm going to rely on you to deal some of these things. Shoot something. Thank you. Okay, there's only the two. Alright, that's fine. Yoink, 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 yoink. Done. There's an athletics check to the rooftop. We're not going to do that yet. We're not going up into the city. But I think we are going to end the video here. In the next video, we'll head up to the top and, uh, or not the top, but we'll finish up this ground floor area on this side of the city, and then we'll come around over here and clean out this side. And then we'll head to the next tier of the city, clear that out, and then we'll do the final tier, which is up there. There's a Balor to kill up there. For now, though, I'll leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Now, there's a see you next time. Take care.